Good morning, Pirates! Welcome back to another episode of Pirate News. We've got a lot to cover from the past week, such as the Homecoming Spirit Week, game, and the dance, as well as looking forward to a new quarter, and an exciting event happening during both lunches today. So without further delay, today is Friday, October 25th, and I'm Frankie. Let's jump right into it. What an incredible homecoming week we just had. From dressing up for spirit days and going crazy during the prep rally to dancing the night away at the homecoming dance. Of course, the big game was also a centerpiece. Our Pirates won with an amazing score of 49 to zero. They gave it their all that night. Let's take a quick look at all the fun we had during homecoming. Homecoming is always a memorable experience. Thank you for looking back with us. Now as we look forward to our second quarter, we'd like to turn our attention to our favorite principal, Mr. Moore. He is here to give us some exciting things to look forward to the next quarter. Let's listen to what he has to say. Hi, this, my name is Brandon Moore. I'm the principal at Wheeland High School. Well, we have plans. We got to get uh, to the point of getting our official grades, right? So. Um, we, we have quarter grades that come out and those post, but your official grades aren't until semester grades. So I'm trying to get everybody to make sure to get their grades taken care of so that they can have success and go off into a winter break with the best grades possible. Those are the ones that post for your transcripts. What improvements are happening in the second quarter? Well, um, so we, uh, as a staff, we go over students' grades. Um, students attendance and then we have meetings with different students and their families to make sure that we can support them with their attendance with their grades and with whatever else they need as the uh, um, as the years gotten into a full full rollout now How are uh, well things are changing with different sports coming in honestly that's the big thing uh, we're gonna be finalizing and finishing up with our fall sports program the, you know girls volleyball boys and girls football and then we start to kick off and ramp up into our winter sports programs boys and girls soccer, boys and girls wrestling, and boys and girls basketball as well. Um, I feel like I'm swimming upstream a little bit. Uh, I'm trying my best to make sure to spend some time with students at lunch and at break, connecting with them and figuring out what their interests are and just kind of getting to know them a little bit. I know I've been around here for a few years, but just getting them to know me in a different capacity and that's really important for me to spend time with them and also staff members as well. Um, we try to host a few events in the end zone, staff watch parties uh, for staff and families, just to give everybody an opportunity to come meet with each other and connect. 
Uh, and so those are kind of the big things that I'm trying to tackle right now is making sure I can spend time with everybody who um, is on campus and who would like to, um, to meet with me. What a lot of information, but guess what? Burger days are back. Today's our PYS Rewards Day. Don't know what that is? It's a day to celebrate students with zero tardies and unexcused absences, as well as no Ds or Fs. We also asked Mr. Jordan about it. We got the details to share with you. PBIS Rewards Day um, is a day where we as a staff are trying to reward students for following the positive behaviors on campus. Each quarter we will be having a PBIS Rewards Day, so for the four quarters, each quarter we will have one. Uh, this quarter we're trying to reward students who, who have no unexcused absences, tardies, or cuts. Uh, by awarding them an opportunity to get a burger, uh, some chips, and a drink. In order for you to qualify for the burger, you just need to, like I said, have no tardies, no unexcused absences or cuts. No points are needed in order for you to receive the burger. However, if you do want to buy chips or a drink, those are going to be two points each. Um, in order to receive points, uh, staff will need to reward you points on the Minga app. Um, and then those points are stored um, on your app under your profile name. And that's how you'll be able to spend points throughout the school year. The days look like it's gonna be during both lunches. The staff will be cooking burgers for the students and cooking food for them uh, and hand out uh, those burgers to celebrate the kids. Uh, kids will be able to line up to receive their free burger at that point. In the past, we did used to charge points for the burgers and this year we're not going to be doing that. However, uh, we will charge for the additional items, but the burger will come to you for free as long as you have meet, met the expectations. And every quarter it's going to change. So we're going to be looking at our data in terms of um, what behaviors we want to see change on campus or things that we want to see improved or things that we want to encourage. And based on that information, um, we'll let students know ahead of time what behaviors we're looking for so that they can participate in the rewards day. And if you're not able to participate, this quarter, for whatever reason, whether you have an unexcused absence or a cut that you're not able to make up, then by us relaying the information a little bit earlier, you'll be able to make it for the next one, have the opportunity to do that. But it's really just a day to celebrate you guys, because we really want to, we really want to point out the great things that you guys are doing, the kids are doing on campus, and encourage them to continue those positive behaviors. Be sure to swing by your lunch to grab a smash burger with additional snacks. We have one more thing to share for today's show. Before that, come to tonight's football game to support your Pirates. And don't forget to dress up in pink. Now let's give a big shout out to our seniors, Kaylee Banuelos and Kamiko Cervantes. Yesterday was their last home game and they played their best. Let's check in with them and hear all about the hard work they've done this season. I'm Frankie and you're watching Pirate News. My name is Callie and I am a middle on the volleyball team. My favorite volleyball memory is warm-ups against Marysville when we played them at home and I hit Ms. Bond really, really hard and then she tattled to my mom. It was hilarious. My first year of volleyball was in sixth grade and it was just like a middle school sport. So, and then from there, I've just been playing ever since. Being part of the volleyball team has shaped my high school experience because I found one of my best friends through volleyball and I've just enjoyed it and made lots of great relationships and we all go to like other games with each other and it's just been a very positive experience. Uh, my advice to incoming freshmen are if you want to be there somewhere, put your full effort into it and keep showing up because you're never really obligated to be anywhere and if you're wanting to be somewhere, keep putting in effort and just show up. My coaches have influenced me often on the court just to be a better all around person because I look up to them in so many ways and they are building my character and just really help me to see who I want to be when I get older. My name's Kimiko and I'm a libero. My favorite memory was playing against Oakmont because our team played really well together. I got into volleyball probably um, in middle school when I started playing. <laughs> They kept me structured and balanced. Work hard and have fun. They were always pushing me to do better in school and on the court.